What's up everybody? It's your girl back for another video. So I wanted to do a video and talk about why is it that so many single women out there would rather take advice from a woman that's never been married about marriage than a woman that's been married. So I wanted to ask y'all ladies out there, if you've been married for a period of time, okay, have you noticed that your single friends would rather take advice from other single women that have never been married than take advice from you? Why is that? You probably wonder. Well, I'm dealing with it too. I've been married 10 years. This September, September 17th, will make 10 years for me. And um, one thing about my family, I can say that we value marriage. And, you know, the older women in my family, my grandmother that raised me, her siblings, her, all her sisters and brothers, they've all been married for decades, 30, 40, 47 years at the most, and, you know, 28 years for the youngest. So um, we value marriage in my family. So I'm very proud, you know, of my marriage. I'm proud that I've been married 10 years, and I'm looking forward to spending another 10 years with them and the rest of my life with them. So I'm proud of those milestones. And I feel like being married for 10 years has earned me a little bit of right to give marriage advice to women that have never been married before. Would I be giving marriage advice to a woman that's been married longer than me? No. But for women that have never been married or been married less time than me, I feel like that I do have a little bit of right to give advice. I am a little bit wiser when it comes to that particular topic. But for some odd reason, I noticed that I have female acquaintances, and some of them were female friends at one point, that would rather take advice from their single girlfriends than take my marriage advice or anyone else's marriage advice that's actually been married. And I, I know I'm not the only one going through this because I saw a couple women on here not too long ago in my comment section saying that they've been married for a period of time and they noticed that you know, women would rather take advice from single friends than them. So I know I'm not the only one going through this. So I'm trying to figure out why that is. Well, I think I figured it out. One thing I noticed, y'all, is, you know, throughout my friendships with women, I don't have any women today that I'm close enough to call them a friend. So I, I say they're acquaintances because that's what they are to me. Now, I have tons of female acquaintances, some of them I used to call friends that were, have never been married, but they've been in long-term relationships, but have never been able to get a man, you, you know, to commit to them for life and actually marry them. And, you know, I would try to give them advice on what I thought they were doing wrong and what, you know, I felt was the reason no one was asking for their hand in marriage. And I'll just talk about one acquaintance in particular because it, it makes it a little bit easy to explain. I have one acquaintance in particular that's been living with a man for three years now in a relationship and they're not married. She wants to be married. She talks about marriage all the time. And his response is, you know, later, not right now, later. And I told her the reason he's not marrying you is because you let him move in with you. She's not living with him. He actually lives with her. You let him move in with you. You pay all the bills. You do everything for him. Of course he's not going to marry you. Why would he marry you and have to be responsible for you? And why buy the cow when you could get the milk for free? The man is comfortable with the way things are. He already has you wrapped around his finger. He has everything he wants. Why does he need to take the extra step? Doesn't make sense to him. So I told her you made the mistake when you allowed him to move in. You know, you were, and, and you had sex with him from the very beginning, like right when y'all met. So... I don't think he's looking at her as wife material, you know, he's just looking at her as for now material, you know, and she would never take my advice. She just continues to make the same old mistakes over and over. But she told me not too long ago, you know, one of her friends was giving her advice on something. I'm like, well, wait a minute. She's never been married. Oh, I know. But she's had, you know, so many relationships. I know, but she's never been married. So how is she going to give you marriage advice when she's never been married? And the really funny part about it is my acquaintance that I'm talking about right now told me not too long ago that one of her friends is getting married and actually called her for marriage advice. 
And I'm like, well, wait a minute, you've never been married. Why in the hell would she be calling you for marriage advice? Well, I've been living with so-and-so for three years. He's been living with me and, you know, we've been in a relationship. I know, but you've never been married. And you should have told your friend, look, I've never been married. I cannot give you marriage advice. I can't even get the guy to marry me. So I, I can't give you marriage advice. But instead of being honest about that, she's on the phone like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll give you marriage advice. And giving, her, and giving her friend advice when she's never been married. So I wanted to do a video about it and expose this issue because this is really driving me nuts. I think it's incredibly stupid. If you've never been married before, you have no business giving your friends marriage advice, okay? You need to be listening to what your married friends are saying, not what your single friends are saying. Ladies, let me tell y'all something. If you're single right now and you've never been married, and you want to be married, you want to find a good man because you're a good woman and you want to settle down, you want to be uh, in a drama-free, committed relationship and a partnership with a husband, stop listening to your single friends. They're single for a reason. It's because they're obviously, you know, doing something wrong and they're not able to get a man to want to take that extra step with them. Please stop listening to your single friends. I find that with women, when they can't attain something, you know, and they see you about to attain that, they will try to advise you wrong because they don't want to see you get something that they can't get. Women are very jealous like that. So you have to be careful with taking advice from them when they've never been able to attain that themselves. If you want to take advice from someone about marriage, take advice from a woman that's actually been married for a long time and has a good, happy marriage. If you don't want to listen to, you know, younger women, try your grandmother, try someone like that, but stop taking advice from your single friends. They're going to lead you down a path of loneliness and a path of um, unhappiness straight up. So comment below. Have you ever been through this with your single friends? Do they rather take advice from other single women about marriage and not you when you've been married? Let me know below and like the video if you did and subscribe if you want to hear more. I'll see y'all later. Bye.